Jesus went into Capernaum after a few days. And the report went out that he was in a house. And so many people gathered, there wasn't any room, not even places at the door. He was speaking the word to them. And some people came, bringing to him a man who was paralyzed, carrying by four of them. And being unable to get to Jesus because of the crowd, they, they unroofed the roof of the place where he was. And digging through, they lower down the mat on which the man who was paralyzed was lying. Seeing their courageous trust, Jesus said to the man who was paralyzed, Child, your sins are pardoned. Now, some of the legal experts who were sitting there heard this, began thinking within themselves, Why does he talk this way? He blasphemes. Who can pardon sins except God alone? But Jesus, aware that they were thinking this in their hearts, said to them, Why are you thinking these things within yourselves? Which is easier to say to the man who's paralyzed? Your, your sins are pardoned? Or to say, Rise, take up your mat and walk. But so that you might know that the human one has authority on earth to pardon sins. And he said to the man who was paralyzed, Rise, take up your mat and go off to your house. And the man who was paralyzed rose and picking up his mat, he walked out in front of them all. And they were all astounded and glorified God, saying, We've never seen anything like this. And Jesus withdrew from there, and he was beside the sea in a huge crowd gathered around him, and he was teaching them. And passing by, he saw Levi, the son of Alphaeus, sitting at a tax booth. And Jesus said to him, follow me. And he rose and he followed him. And so it is, Jesus reclining to eat in the house of Levi. And there were many tax collectors and sinners reclining with Jesus, because well, there were many of them and they were following him. Now, when the legal experts of the Pharisees saw that he was eating with sinners and tax collectors, they said to his disciples, Why is he eating with tax collectors and sinners? But Jesus, overhearing it, said, <clears throat> Those who are well have no need of a healer. Those who are sick do. I came not to call the righteous, but sinners. Now, John's disciples and the Pharisees' disciples were fasting. So people come to Jesus and say, why are John's disciples and the Pharisees' disciples fasting, but your disciples aren't fasting? Jesus said to them, can the attendants of a groom fast while the groom is with them? Hmm? While the groom's with them, they can't fast. But the day is coming when the groom will be taken from them. On that day, they'll fast. And he said, nobody takes a piece of unshrunken cloth to patch an old garment, otherwise it'll pull from it the new from the old and the rip gets worse. And no one puts fresh wine into old wineskins, otherwise it'll burst the wineskins, and together with the wineskins, the wine is lost. Instead, put fresh wine into new wineskins. And it was so. Jesus was going through the grain fields on the Sabbath, and his disciples were making their way, plucking heads of grain. And the Pharisees said to him, Why are your disciples doing what is illegal on the Sabbath. And Jesus said to them, Haven't you ever read what David did when, when he had a need, when he and those with him were hungry? How he entered into the house of God when Abiathar was the high priest, and he ate some of the consecrated bread, which is illegal for anyone to eat except the high priest. And he gave some 
to those who were with him. And he said, the Sabbath was made for human beings, not human beings for the Sabbath. So the human one is also Lord over the Sabbath. 